us. We give God thanks this morning. We appreciate his name for giving us another opportunity in the land of the living. Many slept and were not able to wake up. Some woke up, but in different hospitals. And I want to thank God because he is the one that gave us the opportunity to wake up strong, even in his presence. So give him glory this morning. Lift up your hands wherever you are and say to God, I thank you for you alone is God and there is none like you in the precious name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray But I want us to read the scripture and then we will pray. And we're going to read Isaiah chapter 54. Isaiah 54. The scripture says from verse 1, Sing, O barren, thou that didst not bear, break forth in singing, and cry aloud, thou didst, that didst not travail with child. For more are the children of the desolate, than the children of the married wife, saith the Lord. Enlarge the place of your tent, and let them stretch for the curtain of your habitation. Spare not, lengthen thy cords, and strengthen thy stakes. For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left. And thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Fear not, thou shalt not be ashamed, neither thou be confounded. For thou shalt not be put to shame, for thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth and shalt not remember thy reproach of thy widowhood anymore. For thy maker is your husband. The Lord of hosts is his name. And your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the God of the whole earth, shall he be called. For the Lord had called thee as a woman forsaken and grieved in the spirit and the wife of youth. When thou wast refused, say ye thy God. For a small moment have I forsaken you, but with great mercies will I gather thee. In a little wrath I have my face hidden from thee for a moment, but with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on you, say the Lord thy Redeemer. For this is as the waters of Noah unto me. For as I have sworn that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth, so have I sworn that I will not be, I will not be wrought with thee, nor rebuke thee. For the mountains shall depart, and the hills be removed, but my kindness shall not be departed from you. Neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed. Say the Lord that had mercy on thee, 
Oh, thou afflicted, tossed with tempest, and not comforted. Behold, I will lay thy stone with fair colors, and lay thy foundation with sapphires, and I will make thy windows of agates, and thy gates of carbuncles, and all thy borders of pleasant stones, and all thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of your children. In righteousness shalt thou be established, thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not of me. Whoever shall gather together against you shall fall for your sake. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. No weapon, hallelujah, that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against thee in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And the righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. I'm so excited this morning. I don't know if you are, but I want you to get excited with this promise of God. Glory to God. But we have to do something. The scripture says, No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against you, He said, You, you, you shall condemn. You, not me. You, not God. You, not your pastor. You, yourself. What does it mean? You got to use your tongue to deliver yourself. Glory to God. Remember, when a witch want to cast a spell on you, when a witch want to introduce you to multiple kinds of demonic entities, when a witch want to run your name through a voodoo priest, when a witch wants to bury your name and put you in confusion and set you on a pedestal of confusion. When a witch wants to hold a family at ransom, they don't come to you. Glory to God. They do not come to you. They use their tongue. They use their tongue a spoken word. They will cast spell on you from the realm of demonic influence and spiritual binding. Hallelujah. They will cast those spells and you will see it begin to happen to you. Why? Because literally God has set man to be an authority. Glory to God. God has set man. And you must be operating from an influence. And that influence is demonic powers when a witch operates. Now, God himself has listed a number of things for you to understand. So when you keep quiet, you are burying yourself alive. Hallelujah. When you keep quiet... You need to speak. You need to pray. When we are praying, don't keep quiet. There is nothing like silence prayer in this. There are different types of prayer. Of course, we can sit in our house. We can sit in a car. We could be driving. We could be in the midst of thousands of people. Yet, we will have a quiet time with the Lord. But not when you want to deliver yourself. Glory to God. Amen. When you want to deliver yourself from the 
contingent elements, the elements that have been set up against your life, the air, the waters, the sands. When this thing moves, the wind, glory to God, you cannot tell the wind that just passed from you where it is going or where it's coming from. Glory to God. That's why we need to speak. The power that you have is in your tongue. Especially when you have a regenerated power. The power that is given to you from Jesus Christ himself. He needs you to speak up. He needs you to open your mouth and make a judgment. Evaluate situations. When we talk about judgment, people always think, Judgment is to rain fire and to speak. No, there are things that you need to evaluate and place it in order. Glory to God. By speaking, by speaking, don't keep quiet. When we come here in the morning to pray, don't think you are being so stush. Open your mouth. Condemn what God has condemned. Condemn what God has condemned. And place what God has placed. Put it together. Place it where it's supposed to be. Jesus Christ says. The scripture says. God himself says. Glory. By introducing to you. He said behold. They shall surely gather. Who is gathering? Who shall surely gather? The enemies. You don't have to call them. The powers. The principalities, those who come to make sure of you, those who want to discourage and destroy your life, those that are set up for punishment, I'm telling you, they are there. You, you, you don't need to call them. They will gather on their own. But Jesus, the, the scripture says, they will gather together. <laughs> Hallelujah. It says, surely... Isaiah 54 verse 15. Behold, he said, look, see, they shall surely gather together. But not of me. I did not send them. God did not send them together. Those that are targeting your house. Those that are targeting your life. Those that are targeting your children. Those that are targeting your marriage. Those that has mapped out you and your family for destruction. God said, I did not send them. So don't allow it. I did not send them. So I will not back them up. I did not send them. Therefore, whichever power they are using is not going to work. Because I did not send them. I did not. But they shall surely gather. Whosoever shall gather together against you shall fall for your sake. Shall fall for your sake. They shall fall for your sake because they are gathering against my plan. They are gathering against you. They shall surely gather. It's a sure thing. It's not if they may or if they will. It will, it must happen. But they are gathering in vain because I did not send them. Because they are gathering and I did not send them, they shall fall for your sake. In the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. So this morning, that's going to be our prayer point. One of them is to destroy every gatherer, all the congregation that have gathered against your life, that have gathered against your children, that have gathered against you, whether it is baby father, whether it is father, whether it is mother, whether it is a cousin, whoever, friends, colleagues, friends that are not friends, friend, enemy, people that come close to you just to know how far you are progressing in order to know how to attack you. Those that gather they will come, bring gifts, just for you to open up, open the door for them, so that they will destroy you. 
The Lord says, as they are gathering, they will fall for your sake. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, because I did not send them. Number two. Behold, verse 16. I have created the smith that bloweth the coals. How does those idol came come about? How does the weapons made? How do you make the weapons? It goes through a time of shaping. Glory to God. They set up the iron. They shape it up. For instance, if it is a gun, it goes through times of the smith making them. Making them. Unfortunately, we have a lot of smith around. Glory to God. Making weapons. Setting up weapons. Preparing weapons. Setting it up. And the Lord said, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. And that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. Glory to God. There are groups of demons. Group of people that walk with demonic influence. The scripture calls them waster. They waste people's life. They waste people's time. They delay you. They create confusion. All the intentions of whatever they are doing is for you to waste. Glory to God. To waste. They craftly set up things to waste your life. Some sell hard drugs, even in your streets, to waste your children's life, to waste that street, to ensure that that street is a wasted street, a wasted community, a wasted state. This is what the waster does. They expand, and it goes on and on and on. They expand from family to community to street to state to a country. They are very huge. Their network is huge. But they are labor waster. Glory to God. Amen. And the Lord said, I created the waster. The intentions of my creating the waster is to destroy. I want you to listen carefully. However, no weapon, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. All the smiths come together, put the weapons together, and craftily set it up carefully, and said, you know, this weapon is for you and your children. We are going to waste them. Whether it is coming from voodoo, whether it is a, a, a practical weapon like guns and knives, whatever it is, the Bible said, I did not give them power. The Lord says, no weapon, so long as it is made and said, this one is for Pastor Chidi, it will not work. Amen. So long as they make it and say, this weapon, as we have set it up, is for Pastor Chidi and the family, it will not work. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The same goes for you. Glory. He said, because I did not send them. I did not send them. We're going to pray. I did not send them. Therefore, it will not work. But listen, how we're going to attack it. He said, and every tongue that rises against thee in judgment, you shall condemn. Now we have two weapons here. We have the weapons that can be formulated practically by the smith. The smith of natural world. They make guns, they make guns, they make bombs, they make all kinds of things, they make knives. In order to attack you. And there are other smiths whose job is tongue. They sharpen their tongue. Hallelujah. How do they sharpen their tongue? They sharpen their tongue with the voodoo powers. They sharpen their tongue staying with Satan. They sharpen their tongue 
influencing all kinds of demonic community. So when they finish sharpening their tongue, they will release it against you. And the scripture said, you shall condemn. Amen. You. So this morning, I want you to raise your voice. Open your mouth. Don't keep quiet. Begin to condemn every tongue. Say, Lord, I condemn every tongue. Open your mouth. Don't keep quiet. I condemn every tongue. Sharpened against me. Sharpened against my children. Every tongue that said that I will not rise. Every tongue that said I will not be promoted. Every tongue that said I will not be what you, what you have made me to be. Every tongue that said God's plan will not work in my life. Every tongue that said I will not pass that exam. Every tongue that said you will not move forward from where you are. Every tongue that said you will not amount to anything. Every tongue that said that your children will be useless. Every tongue that said that your son will continue to be mad. Every tongue that said that your daughter is not going to amount to anything. Every tongue that said that your effort will be in vain. I want you to open your mouth this morning and begin to decree and declare and say, Oh, you tongue, you cannot walk against me. I condemn you this morning. I place judgment on you because it will not be working. It will not have any effect on my family, on my life, on my career, on my pursuit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every tongue that brings unbelieving spirit, every tongue that brings doubt on you, I want you to open your mouth. Don't keep quiet. Say, I condemn every tongue. I condemn every tongue. Whatever that, uh, whatever that tongue is coming from, whether it is coming from the United States, whether it is coming from Haiti, whether it is coming from Jamaica, whether it is coming from Europe, whether it is coming from Africa, wherever it is coming from, that tongue is condemned this morning in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. We condemn the tongues sharpened as a weapon against us. We condemn it. 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 Oh, Kabarimo Solomata. Jamperia Botelene. Zemori Ebedus. We condemn it. We condemn it. We condemn every tongue in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. We're going to begin to destroy those that gather together against us. However, they are gathering against your life. Whether they are gathering as sickness, they are gathering of spell casters. Whether they are gathering as witch covens, witch, witch crafts, bewitching you, giving you an advice that will destroy you. Glory to God. It's not only when they cast spell, some of them knowing that you are in need can come around you and give you an advice that will destroy you. That will destroy you. Destroy all the effort you have made. All the effort. Glory to God. You bought a house. And you have been working so hard. For many years. And those witches. They will set up against you. And give you advice. That looks as if it is true. And you buy the advice. Before you know it. You are struggling to take back the house you have set, you have, you have labored for for many years because of advice from a witch. I want you to pray right now. We are going to destroy any gathering that is not of God. Any gathering against me, against your children, against your life is hereby condemned in the name of Jesus Christ. We scatter them by fire. Open your mouth. Say, I scatter by fire every gathering that is not of God. Every gathering against me, against my soul. Every gathering that is not of God. 
Eh hey, yaguna, yaguna yego, wale baradiga, wemba likaya bo sekaya. Oh sokodo, ba prekete keto loko, reba bande ke branagada, reba enko solo bodagaya. Zegre de gede gede gede, zegre gede 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 gede, manto baliakaba. In the name of Jesus Christ, we release the fire. 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 We release the fire against every gathering against you, against your daughter, against your sons, against your children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Glory to God. Lastly, we're going to pray. Demand from God to establish His righteous peace in your life. What the righteous peace of God does is to destroy the destroyer and oppress the oppressor. I want you to pray this prayer. Righteous peace. Let the righteous peace be established in my life, in my family, in my children. In my in my in my business, even in my office, the righteous peace of God, let it be established in me. In the name of Jesus Christ, glory to God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Glory to God. Just raise your hand wherever you are, and I'm going to pray for you, Father. In the name of Jesus, I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice this morning, and I condemn what you condemn in their life. Yes, Lord. And I proclaim what you proclaim in their life. Whatever plan you have for them this morning is going to prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray. Is any of them sick? Any sick person right now, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, I decree healing. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed. In Jesus' name. Be healed. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. And I pray for mighty protection of God upon you. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover your children. I cover you going out and coming in. I cover you. I cover you with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us. In Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. To stop conference recording, this session is no longer being recorded.